Hey guys, this is Andy Chaffield from PTC Optics. Uh, I'm here today to show you the um, the TriCaster RokoSoft software that will allow you to control cameras via the IP address in your TriCaster. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just go into a session. This is a TriCaster 460. All right, there's my camera. Um, so I know for a fact that my camera is the IP address. So I'm just going to go into Roco Sauce here. I'm going to set this as um, PTZ Optics Cam One. All right, nine two dot one six eight dot one 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 dot eight five save as you can see I do have full PTZ control of my camera So you've got full pan, tilt, and zoom, as well as focus if you wish. All right. But yeah, that's the basic functionality of this. Um, reset, save. One call, go back. Um, I believe there's 16 presets local, and there's another 255 um, in the software itself. 16 local with the camera, another 255 or so. Um, in the software itself, so near endless um, presets here. If I want to mirror or flip my image, yep. This also has the fun if you want to just move the camera on the Y axis without being able to move it up and down on the on the uh, the Y axis. This is just moving the camera on the x-axis, which can make it for a nice, smooth, even uh, transitions. We also have the hotkeys available, if you don't like the joystick. Yeah, so we're not going to discount, so... Yeah, over top of buying them now. Yeah. The best of my knowledge, we don't. And then my zoom. Yeah, we can always ship on his account if you want some. Yeah, well, and he has. So yes, this is the camera control um, via the Ethernet connection in the TriCaster. So I just have the TriCaster hooked up to my network, I have my PTZ Optics camera hooked up to my network, and I'm controlling the camera through just those connections. Um, yeah, it's a pretty neat little piece of software to use in conjunction with your TriCaster. If you have a, a camera where you can't get control or you need to get control over the Ethernet, the IP connection as opposed to RS-232, um, this will work perfectly. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Start taking